Would you like to learn how to make one of these beautiful decorations? Keep watching, I'll show you how. Hey guys, okay so this is what you're going to need to make our latest craft project. You need some scissors, an old book, ideally one that started to yellow around the corners. You need some ribbon, you can have any size, type, make, it really doesn't matter, you could even use some string. Some bamboo or wooden skewers, these, um, you usually get them if you're making chicken skewers or something for the barbecue. Your sellotape, some paper clips, polystyrene ball, I'm using a tiny one because it's what I had in my craft box. This would probably work better with a larger one but it'll still do the job. And then we have our glue gun with some spare glue. Now the first step is to take your book and rip away some pages. Like so. Then we take our scissors and you just neaten up the edges. Now we take our sheet of paper, fold it in half and just press along that bottom edge. Open it back up and we're going to take the paper up to where we crease the bottom and then roll it. Once that's done, we grab some sellotape. and just tape that bottom edge. You should have this shape going on. It'll make it look pretty when it's all together. Now you're going to repeat this step with the cones about 200 times if you're making a large one. Or you can probably get away with doing maybe 60 or so if you just want to make a little one. Luckily here are some I made earlier. <laughs> so we can just jump right ahead to the next step, which is this ball. So you take your polystyrene ball and your paper clip. Now we just need to separate these paper clips because we only actually need one. Now what we need to do is get rid of this middle part because you only actually need that large section. So if you bend it out, I'm not sure if my scissors will do this, but oh, yep, they do. And then what we need to do is take some of our ribbon as much take as much as you're going to need to actually hang your item. Probably better to take more than not enough because you can always trim it off later. So once you've put your ribbon through you could probably just do this later on but it's easier and better now because we're going to add glue and then it will be secured in properly. So we need to take our glue gun and we're going to pop some glue onto this ball before pushing the pin into it. So here's our glue gun which I've already preheated. Just be careful because the glue will be hot and burn your fingers if you do what I did. 
The next step is to hang the ribbon and the ball somewhere that you'll be able to reach that's not too high up. I've actually hung it on my stairs because as you can see there are holes in the little steps. So I've just tied it around one of the stairs, steps even. Now we're going to go back to our paper cones, do a couple of finishing touches before we assemble this masterpiece. <laughs> And we're back to our awesome cones. <laughs> so, the next step, take your cone, a bamboo stick or a wooden skewer, your sellotape and the scissors. The first thing we need to do, these skewers are too long, so we need to go ahead and cut them down. If you look at the size of your cone, pop the skewer in because we don't want it poking out like this. So we need to take about three or four inches off the end of this skewer. So I'm going to go ahead and just scar it with my scissors and then bend it like that. Then we take our cone. You can either put it on this side, on the inside obviously, but either against this edge or this edge. I'm deciding to do it on the top edge without the points because I want them facing downwards. So, pop your skewer into your cone. It needs to come out this side because that's what's going to poke into your ball. And twist it over. As you can see, uh, the point is up here, so I'm going to stick it against this bottom section. Take your solid tape and just secure it in. You need to do that for all of your skewers, oh, sorry, all of your cones and turn them into sharp pointy cones. <laughs> As if by magic all of my cones have now got their little skewers in them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we apply these to the bowl. So you're going to take your cone facing this way. Start at the top. And push it in like so. It's obviously going to be too heavy now. So we'll go ahead and add our next one at the opposite side. Just be careful when you're doing this to hold the stick, not the paper.
Ja, ich zitiere. As you can see, it's nearly done. Now what we're going to do, I have some of these cones that don't have any sticks in them. And there are a few gaps here, so I'm just going to slot them in. Because of the amount of skewers that are in the tiny ball, it's not going to let me put any more in. So hopefully these will stick in, just based on the pressure from the other cones. And we're done. How pretty does that look? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that you'll be back soon for some more. Bye everybody.